Before we begin this episode of Bedtime Stories, I want to say what's been happening to this uh, original file of the episode of Bedtime Stories, episode you're about to see, and this whole thing. Now, I've accidentally deleted the entire episode of Bedtime Stories you saw earlier in the bit in this bit I taped earlier. Now, it caused my attention that the episode of Bedtime Stories was actually deleted falsely by YouTube's claims. And I'm sorry that this happens again. This, ha this happened and I won't do it again. So, with that being said, on with the show. Hello guys, Sujari Speaky. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number 533. Let me see if it's right. Yeah, Bedtime Stories, episode number 533. Bedtime Stories, episode number 533. Anyway, Terry you part 16 of Pixar Story for Collection. So let's read it down to the show. So we got for us. Um, read them, i read you right now. Uh, originally, it from this virtual file is um Toy Story 4 A New Purpose okay see here is a, for the last page see here and you're about to see that from anyway and from Toy Story 4 Devin. but anyway here we go light flashes flash around across the sky uh, as anyone in this room with his envelope toys, okay? But he had to actually left RC outside. Wow. When Annie went downstairs, when he had to a sister's room to search for his lost toy. Wow. But uh, Woody came up with a plan. Slinging dog stretches, uh, swinging by out of the window, and Woody scrambled down his back to rescue RC. Wow. Okay. Moments later, Bo, Annie's mom, came to get Bo and her sheep, and his sister, Molly, was given away. Wow. We snuck into the Bo, and she showed it in her cardboard box. Cardboard box, oh my god. He wanted to help her escape and take her back into Annie's room, but Bo was ready to go. Wow. Here's Paz, and, and eventually they. Mom, oh, or, um, Majority uh, gave his toys to a little girl named Bonnie. Wow. Um, she loved them as much as Andy had, but things were different from Woody. He wasn't his favorite toy anymore. Wow. And it was a wonderful cowboy, and that makes perfect sense. And that is true to be told, anyway. It just, how much we more make more sense to him? All of us made more sad and lonely in any way. So, truth be told, Woody. Got into you. Next page. Anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. When Bonnie was ready for her first day at kindergarten, Woody still decided to go with her. Um, so just in case she needed help. She got us at crab time, but he came to help. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, to a rescue. Um, and by more surprise, when her friend was turned, by was use her imagination to put them, them put together to make a new friend, Forky. Wow. Uh, by the end of the day, Bonnie loved Forky so much she decided to take him home. To what a surprise, Forky came to life just like the other toys. Wow. Okay. Back in Bonnie's room, Lori would introduce Porky to Bonnie's other toys, okay? Bonnie made a new friend in class, he told him. She literally made a new friend, everyone. I meant she made Forky. Wow, okay. Um, but why I Forky was not interested in being a toy. He was made for trash. Wow. Uh, what he explained? I know this was a little strange, but Forky was very most important toy to buy right now. You fake. Anyway, that makes more sense. I just don't know what to say here. But as an Arthur Quest 
sideways draw bangs. You know, how to make more sense, it makes more habits in the planet. What's so often. Next page. Anyways, the next morning, Bonnie and her family were gone on a road trip. She rolled up the RV with her toys, according to her new favorite, Forky. One evening, Buzz Lightyear Buzz brought the news to Woody that Forky was climbing out of the moving RV. Hold on, let me close this up real quick. Anyway, um, the plot the usual, drop out of the window. Woody knew he had to fall. He couldn't leave the toy behind. Woody found Forky and they weren't walking the next town to reunite with the RV. A zombie in the window of the antique store caught Woody's eye, both lamp. Wow. Woody and Forky entered their store, but instead of both, they found a doll named Gabby Gabby. Wow. Way to introduce himself in Forky, but Gabby Gabby was all that interested from for in Forky. Wow. Scary, I know. Instead, she pointed at the voice box doing in Woody's chest. You have you you know what I need what what's inside there, she said. TMI, Gabby Gabby, TMI. You know, that had make more sense than anyway, even though it's a make more perfect sense. Woody agree with me on that point, so Reach for that. Yeah. Anyways, next page. Anyways, um, Woody escaped from the playground without Forky, um, but he couldn't get him up in their plan. Wow, okay. The bus load campers around the playground in the middle of mayhem. Woody spotted a boat peeping her sheep. She was part of a group of toys. They travel around to find kids to play with. Wow, okay. The two friends could have been happier to see each other. Both agreed to help find rescue Forky. Wow, okay. Meanwhile, Buzz Lightyear you had decided to search for William Forky. Wow, okay. The brave space ranger followed them trail and through the carnival, but he was captured by pieces. Of Place in the prize wall. He mentions new toys, Ducky and Bonnie. Wow, okay. Who helped him escape? Buzz, Bob, Woody, and Bo, and the whole group snuck in the, in, into the um, store to rescue Forky. Wow, okay. That makes perfect sense, even though it's the best idea I've ever heard of in, in the whole thing to save Forky and it makes more perfect sense for Bonnie. Get out of the time frames. Anyway. Next page. Anyways, um, Bo pointed the glass cabinet all across the way. That's most likely where you, your fork is being capped. Wow. Okay. Getting this man, um, across the wide aisle that was patrolled by a dragon. The sharp caught top, tough, uh, welcome cats. We're going anyway. We wanted to get Forky fast. He ran across the aisle and climbed up to the cabinet. But it was locked. Wow. Gabby's Gabby's um, dummies survived under the toys and captured both sheep. And the toys escaped. But Gabby's uh, Gabby was Forky and the sheep. Wow. Uh, Bo needed to come up with a new plan. So she, she took way to meet Duke Kaboom. Canada's, um, greatest stop man. Both brought Duke and jumped across the aisle to the cabinet and rescued Forky and her sheep. But, but, but Duke wanted to know part of it. Well, okay. He remember how he disappeared, disappointed, disappointed his kids. We're going. We failed to make a, a big jump. That was the one before. And Duke had, um, Jump sent him and jump sent. Well, okay. Be the Duke you are right now. Both encourage the one you do jumps and crashes. Well, okay. That makes more perfect sense. Even though Toy Story, um, it's in the 1990s. This is a great idea. Movies like this. And virtual movie difference in the world, Toy Story movie difference. That makes more perfect sense. 
Next page. Anyways, the dude didn't make it. He crashed while the dragon. Wow, well, okay. Um, we um argued with everyone to try again to help him rescue Forky. The toys were banging, banging, ha ha banging up and hurt. Wow. Scary, I know. But I was upset that Woody was being so, being so single minded. So she later lost toys back to the carnival. <sighs> Scary, I know. Anyways, Woody went back to the, um, into the store while the combined four gave it instead came to face to face with Gabby Gabby. Yeah, I know why. Anyways, when he listened and she explained how her voice box had never worked properly. So she she's never been a kind kid's favorite toy. Okay. Anyways, when he understood how she felt, he decided to um give her uh, his voice box um in exchange for Forky. I don't know what to do next, but. Gabby Gabby needs to understand that she doesn't need his voice box. Reach for the sky. Anyway, that makes more perfect sense. Come on. Next page. Anyways, when he kept his, um, he needed Bo's help to find a kid for Gabby Gabby. And luckily, Bo agreed. When when William get guards for Gabby Gabby to keep be um who she really was. Bo helped um, find a perfect little girl for her. She found something I wanted who I was lost and near Fred. It was pretty much. Gabby Gabby finally had the kids to love. Wow, okay. Perfect sense make more sense anyway. Um, William and her toys made their way back to Bonnie's RV. Everyone at, um, was happy to see William even at, he was happy to see Bonnie reunited with Forky. He had some done the, the job he saw to do. It was even it was then when he realized he was, there were kids and toys everywhere to whom um who needed his help. Call it a Toy Story difference, and you know that makes more perfect sense. You know I just don't know what to do. Just try reunite with Toy Story movie. Toy Story, William and Buzz. You know, I just thought it'd be a good idea to make William and Buzz more different in the county fair. Come on now, it's both people we're talking about. Last page in the scene, place part C here is this. William knows it was different, whatever. He went, he went and went to whatever toy he helped next. He always had his friends by his side. They're partners now to infinity beyond. And that makes more perfect sense. So yeah, that's great advice for William Bo Peep to be husband, pardon, a couple behind us. There you go. And that was, and the next story I'm going to read you is Good Dinosaur, Owl's Birthday Adventure. So that was um, part number 16 of the book, Pixar Storybook Collection. What did I think about this? It was amazing. That was um, Bedtime Stories episode number 533. Hope you enjoyed the series going to be Bedtime Stories number 534, which will be part number 17 of the book. To have some suggestions, baby, we'll go with Bedtime Stories episode. Guys, pretty soon. Say out. See ya.